Why did you want out of Brooklyn, and, and why did you want Philadelphia to be your destination? Originally, you know, when I was going through everything I was going through, uh, you know, in Houston, uh, Philly was my, you know, my first choice. Uh, it just didn't happen. So detailed, I don't really want to get into, you know, the, the Brooklyn situation. I just knew, you know, for a very long time this was a, a perfect fit, and obviously you got a, a, a big man, the best big man in the league, and Joel. And then obviously the coaching, uh, just from top to bottom, it made sense. And um, I'm just happy and, and, and blessed that I'm here. And um, that's Doc and, and everybody knows and everybody wants is, is to win and be the last team standing. So um, I'm, I'm excited for the opportunity. Why did that not happen when I have a follow up? I don't know. <laughs> well, the way it, it says Daryl's fault. It says yeah. Daryl's fault. The way it was presented, the way it was, presented <laughs> was that you sort of had the option to choose where you wanted to go. No, I, I mean, I wish it worked like that. But, you know, organizations got to do, organizations got to do what's best for their, their team, you know, present and future. Um, so it didn't work like that. And, you know, I, I had to go to Brooklyn, which obviously we all know that could have been something special, but whatever, whatever reason was for that. So uh, here I am today. You didn't want to play in Houston anymore. You were able to leave. You didn't want to play in Brooklyn anymore. You were able to leave. What does that say about you, and what does it say about the power that NBA players wield in this era of basketball? Um, for me, I think uh, you know just the relationship that I had in Houston. Uh, it was basically mutual, but everything was on me, <laughs> and same uh, in the last situation. But um, you know, for the most part, we can control our own destiny. Not that not that I say it's a good thing or bad thing, but. Uh, I know in my situation, um, you know, for whatever reason, I'm just, it, it was mutual and the relationship, not very, I mean, new with Josh, but obviously knowing Daryl, knowing Tad, you know, from my Houston days, knowing Doc, um, for me, it just, it, it made sense, man. It's, it's a time where I needed to be, uh, you know, around guys that I know that want to win and know that they do, are willing to do whatever it takes to win. and. Um, the structure here is, is unbelievable. Uh, that's the goal, man. That's the goal. Like Daryl said, the opportunity to window is now. Joel is playing the best he's ever played. Um, you know, so my job is to come out there and, and help him and help the entire team win the championship this year and years going forward. Yeah, for me, it felt like it, it should feel always. You know, uh, my teammates embraced me as soon as I got here. Um, and then, besides that, the fans were very welcoming, um, which was great. And you know, the energy just in the locker room and, and just around the building was it was uh, terrific. And as far as playing with Kyrie and KD, how do you think what you do accentuates what they already do on the floor well? Uh, I think it's going to be scary um, having those guys running alongside me. Um, there's you know multiple different weapons on the floor. And I think at the pace we want to play at, it's, it's going to be unreal.